Why are so many people moving to Newfoundland? Hello, my name is Jay Schwartz and I am the Iceberg Realtor. Today, I'm going to share with you my five pros and five cons of living in Newfoundland. And don't forget to stick around for pro number four. That's my personal favorite. Let's get right into it. Pro number one is culture. Newfoundland has an extremely strong culture that's built on all the small communities and the working class people of this province that have for generations relied on one another. As you make your way across the province, you'll notice many thriving small businesses that either represent their community or Newfoundland. Pro number two is the weather. And if you're like me and you don't like it too hot or too cold, then Newfoundland may be the place for you. With average temperatures of zero degrees Celsius in the, in the winter, that's a lot better than some of the other provinces out there. And with the average temperature in the summer being 16 degrees Celsius, that's more like springtime weather. However, with recent years, summers in St. John's have become extremely beautiful. Sunnier than normal and warmer than normal, averaging around 25 degrees Celsius. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. Pro number three is one of the biggest attractions of Newfoundland, and that's its natural beauty. With sweeping barrens, ancient rock formations, impressive coastlines, and being able to stare out at the endless ocean, which can be so good for the soul. So many people come here, whether you're staying or visiting, to see it. And you can experience it either through the East Coast Trail, Grossmoor National Park, or any of the other numerous provincial parks. Pro number four is phenomenal home prices. Newfoundland has some of the most affordable housing in the country. In the capital city of St. John's and the metro area, the average home price is $280,000. And across the province, the average becomes $225,000. So if you're a first time home buyer, Newfoundland may be the place for you. Pro number five is nightlife. And it's not exclusive to St. John's because all Newfoundlanders know how to have a good time. However, that's where most of the excitement is with uh, many bars and restaurants, festivals and concerts, St. John's is the place to be. It has the famous George Street, which is side to side bars all the way down the street with the exception of the stage for concerts and festivals. If you've been enjoying this video and you'd like more content about Newfoundland and its real estate market, then please like and subscribe. And also stick around for con number four. That's gonna be a big one. Con number one is the weather again. With extreme winds and lots of precipitation, it's really important to have a great raincoat because umbrellas very rarely survive here. Con number two is the job market. Newfoundland only holds 1.38% of the population of Canada, which leads to limited job opportunities. If you're coming here, make sure that you have an in-demand skill set. Some examples of in-demand careers are software and electrical engineers, as well as healthcare professionals, which leads us straight into con number three, and that's our healthcare crisis. There's not enough nurses and not enough doctors in this province. It's extremely hard to find a family doctor and there's next to no walk-in clinics. There are private clinics, but they are quickly becoming overrun to make up for the lack of public health care. If your health is declining or it's a top priority for you, then Newfoundland may not be the place for you because nothing is more important than your health and safety. Okay. Con number four is the cost of living. Here in Newfoundland, we pay what I call the island tax. And that's the additional expense that is required to ship goods in either by ferry or by plane. Additionally, Newfoundland has the highest marginal income tax on individuals and families in the country. Con number five is more of a small nuisance than it is a big problem, and that's the additional time for shipping and receiving, again, either by ferry or by plane, which means no two-day delivery with Amazon until they build a distribution center here. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And like always, I have your back.